Welcome back, Tubians. We are once again heading into Hisui. Uh, today we finish up Lord Electro. We actually turn in the mission and see what uh, Commander Kamado, that's his name, wants of us next. Um, we're also going to turn in the salt and a couple of other little questy things. Although apparently I already have a quest marker. What is that for? Oh, is that just the direction of the village? Yeah, it is. Wayward Cave. Do need to head back there. Um, and then after that, we will probably just do some exploring, because I am sure there is a ton of stuff on this plane that I need to catch. That's not a bad total. That's, that's, that's pretty good. We are not doing well on our overall deck, so I'm going to have to focus on that for the next couple of episodes. As in theory, this turning this in should open up the last area for us. Uh, so from there we will be able to... Oh, not bad. Um, we should be able to just run around and get this deck filled and want to catch at least one of everything. Which is going to involve some hunting. I'm probably going to have to look some stuff up. So I feel like we've been pretty on the ball for catching everything as we go. Um, but I do feel like we've been doing that quite nicely. So... First off... Oh no. Wanda's missing again. Yep, every time I'm in trouble, you turn up just like clockwork. That's right, Wanda's missing again. You heard me, didn't you? I feel called out. Please, help me find my lost sister. Uh, this time she was sent to the Coronet Highlands, but she never returned from that trip. But I've got faith. I know you and that Ursa Luna will be able to track her down for me. Get a whiff of that old kerchief and see if you can find any traces of her, please? Wanda should be somewhere up in the Coronet Highlands, so please find her. Yeah, yeah, alright, we will. Now, this quest was on the board when we left, so let's grab it. Hey, somebody needs a nose pass. We can do that. I think we've already got one. Yeah, we do. Um... Oh, uh, we've got to go give the old guy his salt. So we'll do that. Salty old dude. Oh, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Isles. Has Choi sent you to do negotiating for him again? Yes. You're looking a little perplexed. Wondering why this old man gets so stubborn over selling the shopkeeper a few things? Yes. Well, maybe I'll tell you. If you bring me three hunks of crunchy salt first. Got it. We are way too close. Bought what I asked for already? No less than I expected of you. Wish I could persuade you to join my call. Now then, would you let me have three hunks of that crunchy salt? Sure. That's why I hunted it all down, dude. We handed over the salt. Ah, crunchy salt. The Coronet Highland's finest feature. If you see it in the wild, don't pass it over as if it were just another rock. This translucent mineral is great for making a potent Pokemon lure. You've got to break it up with a hammer. Then get the chunks into a mortar and crunch them right up. Grind them into a powder. Mix that powder with another ingredient and pack the mix together and you'll get a crunchy cake that Pokemon love to munch on. Well, I can't send you back to Choya failure. So, since you so kindly bought me this crunchy salt, tell him I'll set him up with some new wets. Ah, uh, I forgot. You wanted to know what happened between me and Choi. Well, that whelp made off with my dearest treasure. I'll never let him live it down. What, he, did he steal your Pokemon, or? Also, where's this gully person? 
Uh, why? Uh, what was that one called? Something to do with nose pass. A nose pass to guide the way. Black augurite. I have no idea what that is. Anybody see Gully? Front gate. Photography studio. Trading post. No, I don't. Okay. So, they must not be in town? Maybe they're out in the Highlands. Well, let's go see the commander and then work forwards from there. Hey, it's that guy with the machoke. Chop. Champ. Choke. Choke. <laughs> hmm. So Warden Melly believes the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by the almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it angered by something? Or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from far be it from us humans. I think that should be for us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm, but you must be tired. Go on. Then to the Wallflower. Hmm, interesting. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato monkey. Does anybody here eat anything else? I can make cakes for Pokemon, but all I ever get to eat is potato mochi. I'm sure potato mochi is fantastic, but we are reaching addiction levels of food here, folks. This is something that we should maybe be concerned about for the, the NPCs. And does Benny know how to cook other things? Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. And I'd love just a simple egg fried rice. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. This is generous for the boss. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous, or at least a less dangerous task. But can we talk about how you've gone from basically being some nobody from nowhere to basically the hero of Isui? Indeed. Taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the talking for you, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps and Jubilife Village now. Ah, Yay! I give my socks for a hard-boiled egg and some bacon, though. Hash brown, maybe? Isn't it nice getting up early? Bite your tongue, Adam, and I like you, but no. Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. I'm right there with you, Irida. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Komodo's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse it so much over a nice little early wake-up. Oh, I hate morning people. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Okay, let's go do that then. Oh, okay, I'm travelling by cutscene. Woohoo!
You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. On to the next one! Ugh. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The early lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. Icelands, not Highlands. Come on, Ronan. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Basically, Avalug, for anybody who's not familiar with them, uh, Avalug is basically a um, an iceberg with legs. They ain't gonna be small, although there are small icebergs, so... Hmm. Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord. And, perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. It's the final lord now. Avalug may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then. You're all welcome, you're going to be singing that song for the rest of the day. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. But... Ray and the Professor just said I was the hero. And now you... Oh? Ah! Cap? <laughs> Abra, teleport this Wurble outside! At once! Captain. My captain. It's a Wurmple. The worst it can do is string shot you. Ahem. So, you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all Hisui. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. Oh, I'm sort of not looking forward to this one, I'm going to own. Um, I have some visual issues with bright colours. And I find bright blue-whites, which they tend to use for snow and stuff, to be... Oh! Is that... Okay, we've got two new requests, so let's go do this one. I was just going to go to the farm. Um, I find that like bright snow whites are actively painful to my eyes, so... This, um... This might suck. But we'll see. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm looking forward to it in a trepidatious fashion. Let's, let, let's put it that way. Over to the farm. Let's get our mints. Hey, Colza. Crops turned out real nice. Yay! What mints did we get? Impish and calm. Nice. Yeah, we're going to keep going with the mints, my dude. Sounds great. I have absolute faith in your ability to grow crops. Now, what does this crew want? It's covered in leaves, not a rock in size. They definitely have trash stuck to it. It's trash. Bear me? Yeah. I'm telling you, bear me is the Pokemon with a cloak made of leaves. No, bear me cloaks are made of minerals like sand and rock. I'm quite sure of it. Huh, if it ain't covered in trash, it ain't a Burmy. Huh, this conversation is getting us nowhere. Are you both sure you've actually seen a Burmy before? 
it wasn't some other Pokemon? We might ask you the same thing. I've seen Burmy here in Hisui, and I've seen him back in my own region too, and guess what? They're all covered in trash. Oh my, you must have gotten confused somehow, my dear. Please, both of you, we're just repeating the same arguments over and over at this point. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? We could figure out which one of us is right pretty quick if someone bought us an actual Burmy. Catch one and come show it to us, would you? Sure. Can I catch all three? I don't know that I can see my boxes from here. Okay, we're going to go see. There was a quest icon up here. I'm going to go see what Burmies are in my pastures and probably clear them out a bit. And then... We're going to throw some grit around. Oh, it's Pickle Lady. Okay. Everybody's waiting at the door. I've come up with the perfect pickle recipe, thanks to Geodude. Aren't you curious? You bet I am. IRL, I actually don't like pickles. Never understood the point. If you were a pickle lover, please tell me what it is that makes pickles awesome. Try and, try and sell me on them. Tell you what, my dear. Help me gather the ingredients and I'll teach you the recipe. I'll need two hunks of crunchy salt two pods of plump beans, and two bunches of king's leaf. Okay, we got all that. Let's try not to get too close to the crew. Okay. Two and king's leaf. King's leaf. King's leaf. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Pickle Lady! Do you want to make a perfect batch of pickles? Yes, I've got all of that for you. Let's get pickling. We hand everything over. Lovely. I already have the sand radishes I need, so let's get pickling. Sand radishes. Is there a desert? Now for the final step. All we need to do is place Geodude on top of the pot, and it's done. What in the world? He evolved! Gosh, Geodude changed shape. Is this that evolution business I've heard people talk about? And um, what about the pickles? Oh my, this is twice as good as I expected. I'll call it the Twice Spiced Radish. It truly is the perfect pickle dish. Why, with the help of Pokemon, there's no limits to what a cook can accomplish. Thank you so much for helping me out. Twice spiced radish recipe. Huh. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Alright, let's check the star. Uh, actually. Sorry, I know I'm hithering and tittering. There are reasons for this, though. So, in recent episodes at some point, I have discussed grit and grit dust. Now where is it? Grit pebbles. This seem to be the biggest grit item we have. I'm gonna need to take out some of you as well. Although I can craft, because I'm in town, I can craft directly from storage, so... We're all good there. Alright, so what we're going to do with this lot is we are going to... Uh, 
Alright, grit gravel. Grit dust is our lowest level. So, CAD. Now, grit dust will get you from 0 to 3. We're focusing on CAD because he's our starter. Sorry. Yeah, and this is going to improve all of his overall stats. Much the same as EV training or IVs would in the other games. And... Done, I think. Yep, alright. Now, Oki... We're going to do you as well. If you watch, you can actually see Octavia's HP increasing. Unfortunately, we can't see the other stats go up as we work, but... Should probably do this earlier. I don't know if that would increase the overall stat in... Improvement. What I do know is it takes a long time to get this much grit dust. Sorry, I was trying to hit B. Roman. Oh, you've already maxed out your HP. Nice. And boring as this is, it is going to help us a lot in the field. I'm just going to spend a great deal of grit. Dust and things. Now, uh, there's no real need to raise every level, and Roman should be probably a special attacker. Um, so I could leave off attack and defense and the like, but you know what? I am lazy in trying to work out what stuff should be. So I'm just going to do the lot, because that seems easier to me. Almost done. I wish there was an option to max. We don't have enough of the other grit items to max everybody out with it. I'm not going to do Sneasel at the moment because I'm not sure if we're going to keep Sneasel around. The other five are definitely part of our core team. Unless I can find a shiny version of them. And speed. Alright, so we've still got a bit of dust left. Are we going to do the same thing with the pebbles? Uh, this will take us from 3 to 6, if I recall. Yep. And we're just going to put these ones on CAD. Because we don't have as many of them. And, and I'm a cheapskate. I think everybody secretly wants their starter to be the best. Oh, that might just be a me thing. I'm thinking about swapping out Roman even after doing all of that for that uh, Rotom or Rotom that we caught. Special soft spot in my heart for that particular Pokemon. And then the Pebbles would take us from 6 to 8. We're not going to do that right now though. What we are going to do is put all of that stuff away. And now, uh, not seeing any other new quest markers. I 
Ah, okay. We've got new goods in stock thanks to you, but you seem troubled. Is something the matter? Ah, uh, he said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it, but the story is not so simple. Please believe me for now that it's nothing you ought to worry about. Given what a fine customer you are, I imagine I'll end up giving you the full story at some point. In any case, we've got excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. It occurs to me I've actually never bought anything from Choi. Like in the whole time I've been here. Hello, Anvin. Do you have any new recipes for me? No. You know what? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna buy the star piece recipe. What's that? Twenty-five k one. Oh, the max revive. Yeah, I should learn how to make that. Oh, twenty-five k hurts. That's okay. We'll we'll unlock some more of that stuff later. Now, yeah, okay. We can do a few of these. Let's make. 50 just to start with they're sort of like yeah I'm not that worried about those revives and king's leaves I've been wondering what the king's leaves were going to be for old ghetto pokey doll Need sand radishes, scatterbangs, salt cake. Sold at a high price. Well, we do have some shards. Alright, alright, we'll make a couple of these. And I mean literally a couple. That should hopefully help me catch back the uh, the cost. And we'll make 20 of these. Because now that we're getting into higher level Pokemans, being able to uh, slow them down more effectively is handy. Okay, so we're going to need to do a bit more work to to make back that value. You don't really sell much that is of interest to me. Well, if you sold ethers or something, that would help. But all right, let us wrong button. Just organize a bit here. Um, a favorite, you guys. I want a favorite, you guys. Yep. So now they should always be the first three things appearing. Should have made some more potions. Yeah. We've got plenty of this stuff, so I have no pep up plants in my bag, that's fine. That's fine. We can fix all of that up. Alright, let's pop a save and then see what everybody has to say. Lads? So, we're to make for the Alabaster Icelands. That's right. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seems to be little choice but to intervene. 
But this Avalog out on the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? Yes. If Avalog is as huge and strong as they say, there's a good chance he could start an avalanche. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Ronan Tear out there, we'll be putting her in danger of real harm. But people say the frenzies make the nobles suffer, right? So wouldn't it be a kindness for us to quell the Lord? There's simply so much we don't understand when it comes to po we don't yet understand when it comes to noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. Sorry guys, I've got a bit croaky there, I had no idea why. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our quelling the nobles? Or, indeed, from surveying any of the Pokémon of this land. What is it he hopes to achieve? A way to coexist? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokémon. Professor? Ah, uh, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless I'm being a silly sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you? Then we will support you in it. How about I offer you my support by giving you another shot at honing your battle skills? Dude, you have never beaten me. I'm gonna win. Yeah, but I'm still glad I get to battle you. I owe you a lot, you know. If you hadn't tumbled down to us, I might never have learned how to battle alongside Pikachu. Okay, alright, you know, if I'm helping you increase your confidence by beating you up, then that's what we're gonna do. Ooh, interesting call. Alright, Cad, let's see what happens with your new stats. You don't have a dark type move. That's frustrating. Roman, get out there. You got a dark type move. Alright, let's see what happens with your new stats. Didn't I keep crunch on you? I know I did that to somebody recently. Who was it? They had both bite and crunch. Was it in this game or was it in Scarlet? Staravia. Well. Whoa! Brave Bird right off the bat. Ouch! Bold maneuver. Hello, Pikachu. Not very effective, but you've trained your kids to be fast, Ray. Hmm. Nobody's really super effective against you. I can't send out Cad or Octavia. Alright, Adam. Haven't had you out in battle for a while. Let's see what you can do. You can swift. Should prevent me from getting paralyzed by touching it too. Ah, that's right. Your fairy. Fairy is weak to steal. Seriously though, what does that Pikachu mean smoking? It's fast. 
Battle decided. The way you battle f makes fighting alongside Pokemon look like the most natural thing. It's what I've been doing for a living for a while, dude. Good luck on your mission in the Icelands. This sounds like it'll be a perilous one, dealing with a huge Pokemon like Avalug. As for me, I'll set off to the Alabaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, Miguel. Alright, did they heal everybody? They usually do after these fights. Yep, everybody's cool. Hey, Reese. Rest. Where is this gully person? Alright, we'll check it out and then we're probably going to wrap up this episode. And our next adventure is going to be all about exploring and dex filling. I'm going to have my decks as maxed out as I can before we get to Avalok. Okay, very pretty. Not quite as bright white as I was expecting, which is good. Is that the temple that we could see from the highlands? Oh, Laverton, you look distressed. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these alabaster highland Icelands. Apart from Teo Howe leading the odd supply corps excursion to gather materials. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalog, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless's mission to tackle Avalog will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Irida and Adamant and try to keep yourself safe. Will do. Brisk out here, isn't it? You're wearing short shorts. How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher. And he's only ever found in one place. Which is... You're talking about that Gaerick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalog's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice would I... Could I have meant when I said we're going to be heading somewhere even colder? Where else indeed? Ready to go? You're like, sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether a time is passing them by. See you at Avalug's legacy. Take care on your way. I see a snow run in the distance. Does this count as our long grass? Yes, it does. Okay. And we've got some frozen berries. Ah, oh, I was going to stop and check what berries I have. <sighs> I really need to start making notes while I play. Interesting. Usually there's a couple of people by the camp that are asked me to do some dex filling. 
Not this time. Maybe we just won't find a lot of people here. Hey, Bum! Bye, little dude. Bye, little dude. Palm down there. That's weird. I always thought they were warm with the critters. How am I going to get down there? Is this going to be a sneezler climb or? Uh, I see some sort of. Is that a caster fan? Ooh, and crunchy salt. Yes, I am moderately obsessed with crunchy salt. The game did this to me. I am but what it has made me. Now that you pop. And some of the dark rock. Don't mind me, little monkey man. I mostly just want some salt for my crackers. Ooh. There's a ledge up there. so much to explore. And instead I'm just going to fall to my doom. Yay! Now I'm running on two broken legs. Okay, it's going to be a little sort of ledgy way down. Oh, there's an ice pathy cavey thing. Okay. Some sleepy apom. Another snow runt. Okay, clearly they're expecting me to use Sneasler. Alright, but we are going to call it there. Stand by the nice, toasty, warm fire. Hopefully defrost a bit. In our next episode, we'll explore around a bit, but mostly my intent is to head back to the other zones and start backfilling that dex. I want to get as much of it filled in as we can. Probably going to take us a bit, but it will be well worth it in the end. For now, this is Ronan Tia signing off, and I will catch you in the next one.